It's the Phoenix, Arizona weather discussion. This is for Wednesday, the 6th of January. I'm Michael Groff. No big changes in the overall weather pattern around here for at least the next seven days. Dry conditions, temperatures ever so slightly above average, maybe slightly cooler for the weekend and early next week, but no sensible weather on the horizon for a while. So let's talk about it first. Yesterday, 71 degrees, the afternoon high, 43 was the morning low, the normal high 66, the normal low 45. Outside now, here at 5.40 a.m., we've got mostly clear sky out there, and we are sitting at 45 degrees at Sky Harbor, dew points at 26, relative humidity 49%. The winds are calm, and the barometer is steady. Temperatures this morning, yeah, it's in the upper 20s at Fort McDowell, 30 at Goldfield. We've got 36 at Gilbert, 37 at Chandler and Mesa Gateway, as well as South Mountain, otherwise upper 30s to mid 40s across much of the metro. Here's the upper air look across the country, and it's the same old weather pattern here, kind of an energetic flow up across the northern tier states. We've got a trough dipping down into the plains, but here it's high pressure as the story across the southwest, and that's going to keep us dry. There is some high-level moisture that will move through here later this afternoon and tonight, but that's about it. The watch warning map, we've got some winter weather advisories and winter storm warnings up across the northwestern states, and some dense fog, a problem for sections of Wisconsin, eastern Iowa, and Illinois. Otherwise, nothing else going on here. Convective outlook for today, we've got the standard slight risk of severe storms around the Houston area with a marginal risk for the adjacent areas, another little marginal risk over extreme southeast Louisiana and southern Mississippi. Here's a map that you're all too familiar with now. The precipitation outlook valid through next Wednesday morning from the WPC. No rain in the valley, nothing statewide. And really, if we back out, not much to be found region-wide across the southwest U.S. You want to find some significant rain and snow, we'll head up to the Pacific Northwest. You'll find plenty up that way. As a very active pattern is underway, but not for us. And we'll show you why as we dive into modeling. Here we go. This is the GFS, the Global Forecasting System model. It's the 06Z run, and this is valid at 2 o'clock this afternoon. There's a trough diving into the southern Plain states, a ridge out here across the southwest. And so down at the surface today, mostly sunny this morning, partly sunny this afternoon as some high clouds come through. Highs today should get to around 70 or maybe even the low 70s for us. We're going with a range of 68 to 71 for Metro Phoenix. Tonight, partly cloudy sky overnight lows should dip into the upper 30s in the cooler pockets, low to mid 40s in the urban core. And tomorrow more of the same, just a few clouds around. High temperatures should be in the upper 60s and low 70s. Same deal on Friday. A few clouds around, high temperatures, a couple of degrees either side of 70. Then over the weekend, we might see temperatures drop off a couple of degrees, but overall, no real changes in the forecast. Sunny sky for Saturday, Sunday, and even Monday with highs each day mid-60s to near 70, and overnight lows in the 30s to mid-40s. Here we go to Tuesday, evidence of a stronger ridge beginning to build into our west, so we stay dry, high temperatures upper 60s. Then a week from today, this is Wednesday the 13th, a 585 ridge now to the west, the 582 contour right on top of us. If that verifies, high temperatures probably in the low to mid-70s with mostly sunny sky. Let's go out 10 days. This is Friday the 15th. We've got a short wave dropping down the eastern flank of this ridge into the greater southwest. Kind of a far-fetched solution, even if this were to pan out as advertised here. Probably wouldn't mean anything precipitation-wise for us. This is a highly positively tilted system meaning that it's not really going to tap into any deep sort of Pacific moisture. It's moving over land. So there might be a little bit of dynamic support with this for a stray shower someplace. But again, this is 10 days out, and this is almost certainly going to change between now and then. Just something to watch. For now, we'll continue with a persistent forecast of above average temperatures and dry conditions. Boys, speaking of, let's take a look at rainfall off of the European Ensemble for the Phoenix area over the next couple of weeks. How about Absolutely nothing. Hardly any members showing any rain for us. Uh, interestingly enough, the control member is up there are over four tenths of an inch, but um, most of the other members in the ensemble are showing a big bunch of nothing. All right, and temperatures off the national blend of models doesn't get much more consistent than this. High temperatures, upper 60s and low 70s every single day for at least the next 10 days. Overnight lows in the 40s, the cooler spots down in the 30s. And that's going to do it for the Phoenix, Arizona weather discussion for today. My next video back here tomorrow morning. If you enjoy these videos, well, be sure to subscribe, like, share, and click that notification bell so that whenever a brand new video is posted, you'll get the notice. 
Your comments, questions, and suggestions always encouraged as well. Thanks so much for watching. It is always greatly appreciated. You guys be safe out there and have yourselves a phenomenal Wednesday.